Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, April 14, 2024. I pray that we are doing well this morning and I pray that the Lord will continue to be with us and may his favor continue to be on us. I ask that you will look to him who is able to save and to draw near unto him as he draw nears to you. Our reading this morning comes to us from Revelation chapter 3, reading verses 1 to 6. And it says, And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou as a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die for i have not found thy works perfect before god remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch i will come on thee as a thief and thou shalt not know what hour i will come upon thee thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before the, his angels. He that hath an hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches amen we give god thanks this morning for his word may his holy spirit give us understanding and clarity this morning so we're on the fifth church the church of sardis and sardis means something new now according to the reading we realize that this was a church that is spiritually dead okay so the members they were totally indifferent to christian teaching and only a few members remain faithful now this time period was from ad 1517 to ad 1798 this was the time of the protestant reformation you know where martin luther Huss, and jerome etc when they blazed the trail of reform so remember that there was a time when Christians were being persecuted, were being killed for standing up for the truth. So it was a very dark period in the life of a Christian during that time. So it was the time when the papal supremacy ended. So it was the period of the dark ages as we know it according to prophecy. It was like the church was frozen during that period. So this was a time of spiritual darkness. But he also understand that in spite of the state that the church is in, that there are still a few that remain faithful. And he promised them that they will what? Receive white raiment and they will what? Walk with him. Amen? So there is hope for Sardis yet and that is good news. So we must understand that the church is not infallible. It is not unusual for the church to go astray. But the good news is that in spite of the state of the church, that there is always a few that remain faithful. So it's never everybody. And that is why it is so important for us to know the word of God, to know the truth and to abide in the principle of the truth so that we are not deceived because if we allow ourselves to be deceived then we will receive the wrath of God. So we have to be watchful, we have to pay attention and we can't know what is truth if we don't study the word of God so that when we see error we can identify it and stay clear so Sardis here is in a very bad condition very very bad condition but we realize that even though the majority has gone astray that there are still a few that remain faithful so what say us I know when you look at the church today the church is in a very bad state right it seems like 
everyone is just doing their own thing but god is saying that he knows that there are still those who are holding fast to the thus say the lord and he promised them that he will not blot out their name out of the book of life so it means therefore that if your name is in the book of life it can be blotted out so not because you get baptized and you give your heart to christ mean that your name can't be erased out of the book of life if you are not living a god-driven life if you are not living according to the principle that the word of god commands us to live by then your name will be removed out of the book of life it's not a joke thing it is very serious and is important so we can't play with our soul salvation and we can't allow anyone to lead us down the wrong path we need to keep our eyes on jesus and we need to trust in him and him alone not in man because the truth is that man will fail you man will fail us and so may god continue to help us and may he give us wisdom and strength as we seek to continue in his light and in his favor may god bless you amen